right guys, welcome back. So I honestly just had one of the worst sessions in a minute. There's a lot of factors that led into that. So yesterday, I edited the half of the last video, YouTube video you saw, and my computer decided to have a surprise update and restart, and none of the project was saved, so it deleted it all. So today, I had to bust out the whole video. And so I ended up getting really crappy sleep, and then I didn't really get much water in because I was editing all day long. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna retry the session tomorrow, and I'll still keep it in the video, because I wanted to have a really good deadlift session for the video. Things didn't go as planned. And then when I was at the gym, there was like somebody blasting really loud music, which is whatever, but it, I don't know, it was just kind of annoying to film with. And then my camera SD card acted up, deleted everything on my camera, so I had to for it decided to format the SD card, which really sucked. So I was just annoyed as shit. I'm not like a going to the gym and be pissed off and lift. I want to want to be happy and lift. I don't know. That's okay though. We're gonna run it back tomorrow, and I'll have it in this video. And hopefully we have a decent session. So I cut the workout really short after I failed that 585. But yeah, we're just at the grocery store. I only need a couple things just for like some of my meals. But yeah, I'm gonna get that and then we're gonna head home. So first, I just need some pasta sauce. Um, I used to get the Prego, but then I decided to read the label and it's got like canola oil and bad toxic shit in it. So we're getting this one instead. It's a little better. So we also need some bagels. I'm just gonna get some plain bagels like I talked about before. One of my favorite part about shopping is the free donut section. Sometimes I also like to hit up the free candy section, but I'm eating any candy today. But yeah, that's honestly all I need. I'll probably see you at home next, and then we'll reattempt that session. Hopefully it goes better. <laughs> So it's the next day, I'm just eating my pre-workout meal um, and we're about to head to the gym. So if you guys are trying to have better workouts, two of the main things that can help a lot, aside from sleep, like if you guys aren't getting eight hours of sleep, you're just gonna, you're not gonna have the best workouts. That's like number one. But two other things are sodium and hydration. So personally, I like overly salt all my meals. Not like a crazy amount, but I'm adding more salt than like the average person would to all my meals. S sodium is gonna help with you being more hydrated. It pretty much just makes everything in the gym a little bit better. Like you'll have stronger workouts because it helps with like your muscle contractions. You'll have less cramping and you'll just have better pumps. But when you first start having more sodium in your diet, you'll probably hold a bit more water, you'll look a bit more watery, but your body adapts to it. So if you're consistent with it and you're drinking plenty of water, you have to pair it with drinking plenty of water. You won't be as watery after a while once your body adapts to it. But yeah, sleep, hydration, sodium. Sodium and hydration kind of go hand in hand. Those are some of the keys for having better workouts. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you guys at the gym. Alright, so we're on our way to the gym. Um, so I'm one of those people who drinks their pre-workout on the way to the gym, like I just sip it on the way there. I already finished mine. But the problem with the new gym is that on the way to the gym, like it's the same distance as the old gym, but there's like a multiple railroads on the way there because there's like this train conglomerate where they, the trains meet up and they do train shit but you end up catching them all the time on the way there. And so I'll be buzzing off the pre, and then it's like, bam, double train. Like literally just now, I hit two trains going both ways. And then after the last one almost got all the way through, it stopped for like three minutes and then pulled all the way back through. And that shit sucks when you're on a shit ton of pre-workout. Um, I don't know. 
It's like being stuck in traffic and it drives you literally crazy. Yeah. Um, I just took Rise's Blackout Pre because this one doesn't have as much pump as the other ones and it's harder hitting up front. The other ones have the other ones have more delayed release caffeine. This one's like more harder harder hitting up front. Which you kind of want for today's setup session. And I don't want as much pump because it's just gonna give me a big lower back pump. I usually just take like pump caps after I finish deadlifts or some shit like that. But yeah, we're gonna go back in for the redemption, the redemption session. See how it goes. I'll catch you guys in the gym. I used to wake up in my room in the morning, put on my dirt. It's something you can find comfort in. It's very comforting but discomforting at the same time. So with this project. Again, you're entering my mind. <laughs> feeling my insanity, feeling my my genius, my energy. Enjoy. All right, guys, we're back to reattempt our little deadlift session. Um, all the little things adding up yesterday just led for a really shit session. So cutting it early was probably a move. I got really good sleep last night. Had a lot of water in. You know those two things will have a huge difference on how strong you are. And I'm usually really consistent with those, but having to re-edit the whole video, um, as well as just like being really annoyed and tired while I was at the gym, you know, I just wasn't in the right headspace to really have a good session. It was really cut into the sleep, because I wanted to get the video out. So I cut out the sleep in order to spend more time getting the video out. But yeah, we're back, we're gonna re-attempt it. Um, on any deadlift day or leg day, I always just warm it up on the bike for like five, 10 minutes to start. And I'll go do some other shit and we'll hop into deadlifts. The goal is to get 585 for three today. After failing that for one yesterday, I'd be pretty happy if we're able to do that. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Also, if you guys haven't, just drop a like, maybe subscribe real quick. But yeah, let's get into it. guys we got it um, we did the 585 for three you know that just kind of goes to show that like you know contrary to what most people think you know just because you have one bad session in the gym doesn't mean you need to end it all um, you know, maybe if you have a few bad sessions in a row maybe but um yeah you know just dialing and a few variables can make a huge difference on how strong you are and how your workout will go you know sleep nutrition hydration makes huge differences you know, obviously things can get in the way of that sometimes, like yesterday, you know, I wasn't in the right headspace. But today we came back, had a great session, you know, literally the next day, completely different. But yeah, make sure to dial that shit in. But now we're going to drop the weight. Um, I'm going to just do 495 for some, for some sets. You know, nothing too hard because that top set was already pretty tough. You know, you can't be going like crazy balls to the wall every set. You're just going to fatigue yourself and you're honestly just gonna make negative process because your body's not gonna recover from that shit. So we're dropping it and do some easier sets. And that doesn't apply to every exercise, you know, a more taxing exercise like deadlifts, you know, you can be maxing out and going to failure every set, but something like bicep curls isn't gonna fucking kill you to do a set still failure all the time.
It's like when you're taking a, like a gym pic in the locker room or like a video, a flexing video or some shit and someone walks in and catches you and then you kind of got to act like you weren't just doing that. Like you kind of like, like you were just chilling on your phone or some shit. Um, but everyone knows what you were doing. What I hate is being the person who makes someone feel off. I walk in the bathroom and they're doing it and they're just like, I wasn't doing that. I'm like, I, I just hate being the guy who makes someone feel awkward. If you guys are doing that shit, you just gotta own it. Keep doing it, you know? Don't let someone make you feel awkward. Just be confident in what you're doing. Cause so I've been in that situation plenty of times where someone walks in and I just feel dumb as shit. You know, someone walks in and I'm really just like. But yeah, I hate other people making other people feel like that because it's like, I felt that. I know what it's like to just feel awkward as shit. All right, so we're all done with deads. Um, I'm just gonna hop into some dumbbell rows. Last time we did 135s for eight. This time I'm gonna try the 140s. Go for like five to eight, see how we do. You know, a little progressive overload action. We're actually getting up there on the dumbbell rows. You know, the key with this is to like, make sure you're progressing. You know, progressive overload is a sign that you're doing shit right. If you can keep doing more weight, then you're doing the right shit. As long as you're like keeping your technique consistent. But yeah, we're gonna try the 140s and Go from there. solid session i'm pretty happy with how it went especially after yesterday but yeah that's all for the workout i want to shoot some pictures for instagram so i think i might take you guys to see that i might not but yeah um and then after that i'll see you guys at home full moons look kind of crazy whenever i see a full moon like i'll just like look up at him like damn i'm gonna really be up there looking like that i don't know it's just like mesmerizing to look at sometimes and then other days you see it and it's just like, whatever. The thing I hate is the radio. It's just like constant ads and bad music and that's all they play in the gym in like the main room and it's really annoying because it's just like, it's just those constant radio ads like, bye, 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 local Ford dealer. And it's like, man, shut the fuck up. Like, just like play, 
play like a free Spotify account, you know, the ads are at least bearable there. Right, guys we just got back from the gym again um, just seeing my post workout meal like always I don't know if you guys go on TikTok a lot but right now there's the trend with ashwagandha talking about how it kills all your emotions and like will literally make you Patrick Bateman um, so I actually used to have it in my vitamin stack and I took it like probably for like eight months straight you know I didn't cycle off because you're supposed to cycle off to like counteract the negative side effects like that but I didn't realize I didn't know the negative side effects back then because it wasn't like popping on TikTok. It wasn't like a trend or anything. But um, I realized like towards the end of me taking it, I was like, damn, bro, I can't even get hyped for a top set. Like literally I would just, like I just couldn't get like that adrenaline rush to go hit a heavy set or anything like that. And I didn't know it was ashwagandha. And then eventually I saw some YouTube video talking about it. And I was like, oh shit. And I stopped it and I realized like, that was doing that to me. So that, that shit's real, it's kind of funny. But yeah, we ended up having a really good session. Um, just like the little things, you know, hydration, sleep, sodium, you know, what you're eating, of course, is gonna affect it a lot. There's other things that can affect your workouts too, like general overall fatigue, like if you've been training really heavy, you know, you might need a deload to get back to having good workouts because um, your body is just too fatigued and needs lighter weights and like a week of lighter weights and shit to recover I can be consistent with those things you know and that will make a huge difference you know w working out is all about consistency like if you're all over the place you're just not gonna have consistently great sessions and you're not gonna lift the way you want I mean if you want to be like that that's fine but if you're trying to like get the most out of it that's the way but yeah I, uh, I appreciate you guys all watching um, if you guys ever got any questions drop them in the comments answer literally every single comment or you can just DM me on Instagram um, but you know comment helps the algo you, know, you could just drop a comment for the algo or just put some random emojis but uh, yeah make sure you guys leave a like make sure you subscribe appreciate you guys watching um, Code Nick on Rise in Young LA yeah I will catch you guys next time